Okay, if, since everybody's here, um, welcome to the Oregon Board of Education meeting of uh, September 1st. It is virtual. We'll have the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and yeah. to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, may we have the roll call, please? Certainly. Mr. Shea. Mr. Kennedy. Here. Mrs. Miller. Here. Mrs. Milner. Here. And Mr. Zavisky. Here. Okay, I need a motion to adopt the agenda as written, please. So moved. Second. Discussion? Roll call? Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Shea? Mr. Zavisky? Yes. And Mrs. Molnar? Yes. Okay, we will enter to an executive session to prepare for, conduct, or review negotiations or bargaining sessions with employees. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? Ms. You ready for roll call? Yes. Okay, Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Shea? Yes. Mrs. Miller? Yes. Mr. Zavisky? Yes. And Mrs. Molnar? Yes. Okay, we will be back when we're done with the executive session. Thank you. Looks like Jeff is here, so we can move on to item two, a memorandum of understanding. We need a motion to approve a memorandum of understanding between the Oregon Board of Education and the Oregon City Federation of Teachers regarding supplemental contracts. A copy of this MOU has been distributed to the board. May I have a motion for that, please? So move. Amy, I have a second. Thanks, Heather. And is there any discussion? Move with roll call. Mr. Shea. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Kennedy. Yes. Mr. Zavisky. Yes. And Mrs. Molnar. Yes. Item three is the OSBA Capital Conference appointments. The Capital Conference this year is all virtual. There will be nothing done in Columbus, um, but we need a motion to approve a delegate for the virtual annual business meeting of OSBA at Capital. I really need a motion. It's just an appointment. That is not a motion. So, um, um, Mr. Shea, will you take that appointment? Certainly. Thank you. And we then need to appoint a, um, an alternate for that. Um, Ms. Ms. Heather, would you take that? Okay, thank you. Um, is there any discussion uh, from board members at all on anything? If not, we will have a regular board meeting on September the 8th. Oh, hey, Carol. Yes. We need to do our motion for a trip rate increase. For how I don't I don't have seven. That. You don't what? have that one? Oh. Not on this. I must have the wrong agenda. What's the Number what seven. is it? Does anybody else have it that can read yeah, it? It's, it? It's number seven. Would you like me to read it? Yeah. Please. Yes, please. Sorry, Carol. Okay. Um, it is a number seven is a trip rate increase, a motion to increase the trip rate for bus drivers from seventeen dollars and fourteen cents per hour to $23.16 per hour, step two of the driver's rate. This will be in effect until October 19th, 2020. Okay, so we need a motion for that, please? For the tripping? So moved. A second? Second. Discussion? Roll call? Mr. Shea? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Zavisky? And Mrs. Molnar, I, I don't, Jeff, text me what you're voting. I, I, yes. Thank, thank you. you for that. 
Thank you for adding that to the, I, I don't know why it's not on my agenda. I must have the old one. Is there Very anything? Well, yes. Anything further that anyone else has? Is there anything else on that agenda? Okay. I have a question for Hal. Go ahead, Mr. Zabisky. Um, so I've gotten a lot of comments from mainly at facets of kids being disconnected from teachers' Zoom meetings because of internet issues, but teachers are not allowing them to reconnect because they say it's a disruption and students need to be held accountable. I think Paul responded, I don't know if he, cop if he copied you on his response to me, but I think we need to be a little bit more flexible with how these Zoom meetings are set up, Make educate the teachers on how to set them up so that kids can be back in, because we've had a ton of internet issues lately. Yeah, I know that's a setting in the computers that uh, uh, staff has access to, so I don't know any of the details regarding uh, you know, that particular issue or not. Yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll look into all those. I got, one of them just so you can understand it a little bit. Yep. Okay, anything else? I know the internet, especially anybody who has Buckeyes, absolutely nuts to match the rest of society right now. Oh, so, and also Hal, we talked about possibly a survey. Um, after Labor Day, are you looking at getting one together? Yes, at the end of the week after Labor Day, towards that end of the week, that'll give us the week to uh, put it together, although I don't expect it to be, you know, very long. So, yeah. Well, to send it out on Tuesday or Wednesday, you should have the kind of the questions together now, correct? Oh, I'm working on it. I mean, it should be a simple three question thing, pretty, yep. pretty simple. Yep. Okay. Yep. Anything further from board members? Regular board meeting Monday, September 18th and a possible special on Wednesday the 9th at four o'clock. Um, that's to be determined, but that's a date you can set aside. Anything else for the good of the board? You have a motion, please? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Roll call? Mr. Shea. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Zavisky. Yes. Mr. Kennedy. Yes. And Mrs. Molnar. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.